I found this vaping uh, device on the road and I know they have a nice lithium battery in that I use for some of my other hobbies so I thought I'd see what's the inside of one of these things and how easy it is to tear it apart so it was pretty easy so let me show you what I did is I just took a pair of uh, vice grips and that multiplies the force a little bit so I don't have to use a lot of strength in order to do that but it gets it right at the end and I just grabbed that and just gave it a nice squeeze and it broke the sea all the way around so the next thing we do is we just pull this out this is the little LED that's um, that lights up and uh, kind of backlights the smoke as it comes out and let's see This comes out all as one unit, just like this. Now here we have, uh, let's turn the other way. Here we have a, a 350 milliamp 10C lithium, -I, uh, lithium polymer battery. 10C is pretty good. Uh, what that basically says is that it can put out um, 10 times the rated amount here. So this can put out about three and a half amps, uh, which will certainly heat up anything uh, and make smoke out of pretty much anything, including itself, if you're not careful. So right here are some little attachments. And we, we notice that there are little pigtails going forward here. And there may or may not be some kind of circuit that's going through here so let's go ahead and pop this out right here it's on one side and then we have the same thing on the other side okay so now we can just separate these and this is the uh, solution that has all the juice as they call it uh, it has all the taste and such, and there's a heater element inside there. So let's see. Let's see if we can push this through just a little easier. So we're pulling and pulling, pulling and pushing. So Now, if you've taken apart any other heating type elements like the inside of a coffee maker or something like that, you can notice that this is, I think it, it might be a Nomax or something like that. In other words, it's fireproof cloth. So there's a heater element in here. And assuming there's a little bit of a valve so that when negative pressure or positive being pushed towards it, but negative being sucked through on this closet valve, and this will heat up heat up this solution and create a vapor which is mostly water so this is creating all that and then if you've seen the people who use the vaping devices they just exhale a, just a giant cloud so anyway this is how easy it was to take one of these things apart and these are kind of handy cells to have there's a lot of uh, radio control models that use them from little quadcopters um, little uh, helicopters uh, 350 milliamp hours is, is pretty good and be useful for anything like that. And then, of course, this is just the little LED that lights up. You can see a little surface mount on there. This may also have had the, this might also be the negative pressure uh, valve right here that causes this to heat up. I'm not going to do anything with this apart like this because that's not quite. Um, wanting to get myself burned but that's how easy it is to take one of these things apart there's no magic involved at all so uh, especially if you have a need of a 350 milliamp hour 10c these are rechargeable also if you have a special constant um, current charger and there are cars and no constant voltage i think that's on these things now they get up to 4.2 volts this is nominal 3.7 
uh, volts on that, but you charge them up to about 4.2 volts. So, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.